Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today we will talk about this puzzle here. For more in detail, we will talk about making one puzzle like this. As you can see, it is a so-called geodesic sphere. So this kind of shape is known in the in architecture or also in, for example, you can see this kind of shape in a soccer ball, for example. More precise is a truncated iso icosahedron shape. And this means it's icosahedron, it has 20 single surfaces, which are flat, so it's not a not a th sphere actually. It um, contains 20 flat surfaces and the flatness of these surfaces is described by the word truncated. So truncated icosahedron. If you look more in detail, you will see that actually not this, this shape is not made out of 20 identical parts. It's made out of two kinds of different parts. I, to give it some contrast, I did one kind in white and one kind in black. So we have a hexagon shape here. But in between all uh, um, a circle of hexagons, we always have a pentagon shape. And with this, you will be able to, when you want to, let's say, when you want to make a flat surface, you use only hexagons. But if as soon as you want to make a spherical shape and bend it in three dimensions, you need to have a pentagon here to let it get into this spherical shape. I had the idea to build this puzzle from the YouTube channel Pocket83, which is a great channel for any kind of wood crafting. This guy is very creative and also he built um, this kind of puzzle out of wood. I do not have the possibility to do this because I do not own a carpenter shop or the uh, machines that are needed to build it. Therefore I decided to build one my own out of plastic using 3D printing. You can find the 3D models that I used in the description and you can download it for free. Okay, in this video I will explain you how I did it, go with you through the process, how I designed the parts, how the parts have been printed and in the next episode or in, better in the, uh, in the episode that I will release on next Wednesday I will show you how to assemble this spherical shape out of the single parts. What is special for this one is these parts here are only held together by rubber bands here. And all these parts are lo actually loose. They're just held together by the spring force of the rubber bands. And when I press it, you can see it's already deforming and I can actually destroy it if I want. But anyway, it's held pretty good together. So how did I do this? Or how did I create the single parts? For the 3D design I used the free software FreeCut. It's a completely free CAD software, parametric software and um, I created here the two designs for the hexagon and for the pentagon shape. I did it parametric because if I, I was not sure in what, with what dimensions I will end up and I just wanted to have the possibility to modify it later. I added here the notches for the rubber bands to attach the rubber bands later just rotated them around the part and the second notch also for the rubber bands and finally I only added chamfers to the complete model to just smoothen it a little bit and not damage the rubber bands later I will put you the link for the free software in the description if you're interested to try it yourself Another critical point was the chamfer on the lower side, which I used here 45 degrees, which is not correct. The final model has only 20 degrees on the lower side to fit the parts together. Next I proceeded with the slicing of the 3D data. For this process I used Cura, which is also a free software. And slicing means out of the 3D data I generate a path or the software generates a path for the 3D printer that the nozzle will run later. It saves all the settings, like here the, the um, width of e thickness of each layer, 
to the amount of top and bottom layers, the infill that's printed into the part and so on, and a huge amount of different other settings. And then I decided to turn the parts also upside down because then the upper side is on the build plate and this will give it a more dull smooth surface while the downside is more or the upper side now here is more, will be more shiny. I will show you later the effect. And then it was time to print just in a short time lapse of the first layers not the complete print because it would just took too long. For four parts it took about four and a half hours I guess. So this is only the first layer. After the print was completed I just have to get the parts of the build plate and this can be sometimes a little bit tricky but in this case it worked out pretty well. And then it was time for some rework. Due to the printing some parts suffered from slight stringing effect as you can see and also there were still some burrs remaining and I just removed them by hand in this case it's for the pentagon shapes the smaller ones and I did the same also for the hexagon shapes As I mentioned before, this is the shiny surface, so the upper side of the print, the last layer, and this is the first layer which was in contact with the build plate, and this is, gives it a more dull looking. And since this is the visible side, I wanted to have this side downwards during the printing. I just compared here the lengths of the edges, which is mandatory to have them exactly the same, and also here the 20 degrees angle, which fits quite well. And then it was time for the first assembly trial. Everything worked out pretty well. And I just wanted to see if this 20 degree angle works to form the sphere and it seems to work. So this was how I designed and built all the single parts for this puzzle. As you can see here, it went out pretty well. It's already assembled. Even if I had a fight with my 3D printer and because he didn't want to do what I wanted to do, in the end I won, he lost. So you can see it's done. How to do the assembly I will show you on next Wednesday because it takes quite some time and I don't want to get this video too long. Anyway, I would like to know your feedback how you like this making episode where I described how I made this and if you're interested to try it yourself or to print the parts yourself I uploaded them and I will put you the links where you can download them for free in the description of this video. If you have any questions, complaints, wishes, idea as always just comment this video or on Facebook and until next time keep on puzzling!